Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Starfield. Uh, we left off uh, actually romanticizing her, turning her into my, as she would put a lover, but we haven't made love yet. But uh, companion on the list, she is my partner. Let's go with that one. I'm not exactly sure what to call her. Uh, but yeah, we've just been doing some missions here. Main mission's done. Burden of proof is done. Faction's done. Technically, I kind of feel like just screwing around with some side missions, I guess. Let's do some work for and awaiting my next order for some time now. I'm glad you've been waiting for your next order, buddy. Crowd ship yard. Let's head on over there. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into here. See if I need to drop some folk. Oh, there's a big asteroid over there. Boost. Wish it would stop taking one power out of my uh, engines. Docking. Engage. Oh, yes. I'm waking up. It's still early. We're awake. We're functioning. Uh, still quite a chunk of pain from shingles and some other shit, but we're surviving. We're just making it work. Keep on keeping on. Not much one can do about it. Okay, find jewels on said station. Okay. Jewels! You guys, you guys seen like the jewels? The there are jewels here. Proud of what his company has accomplished. And for good reason. Yeah, for good reason. I know you're in the middle of a meeting, but I would this like to uh, bother you. Friend. Please, come join us. We've been waiting for you. Hello. I'm here to speak about... I'm not yelling, you're yelling, don't judge me. I'm here to speak to you about this new ship project. So you're the project lead, what does that mean? Uh, have you been leading the R&D team for long? I'm here to speak about you the new ship product. He informed me that you'd be taking charge of Project Kepler despite the fact that we have a fully dedicated R&D staff already assigned to it. But that's okay. I'm sure that even though you have virtually no experience with this, you'll do a great job. I'm detecting some sass. Um, actually, I have plenty of experience designing oh. starships. Uh, Thank you. I just assumed. You know what? I'm really sorry. As of right now, like 86,000 units of my I starships bet. have been sold. What about yours? Yeah, so we have plenty of designers. As you probably know, we're tasked with coming up with Strout Eklund's next hit starship. But we have budget concerns, market research to finish, and we can't seem to agree on a design. So I guess Walter sent you to resolve these issues. Have at it. Starship design, I'm familiar with the process. Let's get to it. Ah, right. So you mentioned. Let's move on to solving our budget issues then, shall we? We were charged with building the newest, hottest ship on the market, which won't be possible unless we petition the board for more money. So we have two new budget proposals. One will allow us to build what I consider to be a very sensible ship, but we'll have to make some tough design cuts. The other will allow us much more flexibility to put whatever we want into the ship. It's what I call the kitchen sink proposal. I don't love it, but it'll be next to impossible to approve. What should we go with? Small budget will help us focus on the design. Let's stick with your sensible budget. We can build whatever we want with a larger budget, so let's go with the kitchen sink proposal. Why can't you use the original budget you were given? What kind of cuts would we have to make? Sensible design budget. It's that we can only choose certain design elements at the expense of others. In other words, if we go with something in Mike's design, there's not enough money in the budget for what Ella wants. That's one of the reasons we haven't been able to agree on anything. Mm. With the kitchen sink I proposal. I was you'd say that. Look, I'm the one who has to go to the board with this proposal, so before I can convince them this is going to be worth it, you're going to need to convince me. Persuade. Well, I'm all ears because it's going to take a miracle to convince them. I mm, wish I uh, maybe took some of my drugs. Maybe. I won't rule it out. Leadership? Well, worst case scenario, our critical job success. Safe, and I'm sure the board would only take issue with you. Sure. Okay. I think you made some good points. I'll go to the board with the kitchen sink proposal and get that approved. Well, Jules, it seems you have your work cut out for you. Great. 
That's one problem solved. I'll go forward with that budget proposal and we can move on. Next, we need to gather some market data. The best way to do this is to outfit your ship with some sensors and take it through some real-world scenarios so we can make more informed design decisions. Sure, sounds good. Just tell me what you need to do. Wait. Just pick up a mission or two at the mission board and proceed like you normally would. We'll collect the data when you return. If you take on a variety of missions, we can build a ship to handle a variety of scenarios. But if you just fly one mission, we can build a more focused ship. It's up to you. In the meantime, you might also want to talk with the team, get to know them, give feedback on their proposals, etc. Good luck out there. Huh. Okay. What do you want, buddy? You know, I have designed spacecraft for over 10 years. So, you must have really impressed Walter for him to give you this project. Or maybe it's a bit of nepotism. Never mind that. <laughs> mm. Perhaps he sees in you what he nepotism. sees in you. Uh, Julie asked me to give you some feedback on her ship design proposal. Let's hear it. Ten years of experience isn't as much as you seem to think it is, my friend. <laughs> ah, yes. At least you may be more open to my ideas than my colleagues. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Imagine a luxury craft designed for the most discerning of tastes. Every feature designed for comfort and peace of mind. High-end performance, precision engineering, a spacecraft for those who wish to be seen. This will be the most elite personal craft on the market. What a great idea. That seems like a worthwhile goal. You're onto something, but I think you need to define your pitch a little better. Uh, I've never had better ideas come out of fever dreams. Or I've had better ideas. You're onto something, but you need to refine mm. it. I think I understand what you mean. It is not enough to say it's a high-end luxury ship. Who is flying this ship? Where do they go? What is their story? And why do they crave such attention? Oh, thank you. I will think on this and improve on my proposal. What was that about wanting to sell a ship to celebrities? Why is that so important? Two words. Conspicuous consumption. Are you familiar with this concept? Nope. Oh, uh, yes, I think I see what you're getting at. Not really sure what that is. <laughs> of course not. It's when someone buys something expensive, mostly because it is expensive in an effort to show off their wealth to others. So, if oh. you target what the wealthy elite and celebrities want, and sell the ship at a premium, they will buy it, and others will follow in order to be trendy. Imagine a star like Borealis is seen getting out of one of our luxury ships. Everyone is going to want one so they too can feel like a celebrity. You're not wrong. Because I am the lead designer on the project, it is literally my job to design it. It's valid. It is frustrating because I keep getting pushback. And Jules has this idea that we will make a better product by designing it all together. Since everyone has equal say, it led us to a standstill. It was Bell. much easier before. Why well, work here if you seem unhappy Just with all things? I do not like how corporate we have become doesn't mean I don't like getting paid. Besides, Bell. every successful ship I design, I believe I can influence the company to shift away from typical corporate bullshit and back to taking risks by pursuing art and innovation. Then again, here we are. Your back's clipping into that chair, I just realized, and I hate it. But okay. Yeah, yeah. See you. This is going great. See you too. Yes. Um, hi. Hi. Need something? Got a little nervous up in here. I was supposed to talk to you about your ship design oh. proposal. You really want to hear my ideas? I mean, I have an idea, but it's not that great. I'm not even a designer or anything. Confidence, woman. Confidence. So I was thinking that we could really use a recreational craft in our fleet. But not like super luxurious like our Adonis pleasure yacht. Something marketed more towards families. Something mom and dad could pack up and take the kids on vacation. <laughs> you probably think that's stupid, right?
are spaceships that common in this game? Like, does everyone just have one that they can pack up and take out? Oh, confused. I'm yawning again. Um, I was under the assumption that they were not like super duper common. I was under the assumption that not everyone had one because it's like you are a starship captain or you're not. But like no one says you're the driver of an automobile, right? Like that's not like being the driver of an automobile doesn't make you special. If you're waiting on me, I, I being like a talking. ship captain does. I don't know now. I don't think everyone has them. It's unique and fun. If I'm being honest, it's not really my sort of thing. Holy crap! I'm just yawning nonstop. Terrible content. So boring that I even yawn myself. Apparently, I'm exhausted. Uh, even though we just woke up not too long ago. Uh, I have to be honest, that's a pretty awful idea. Do you really think that kind of ship is in demand? What would it take to design a ship like that? Do you really think that kind of ship is in demand? I camping with my family when I was a kid. The other families we met always complained their ships weren't quite adequate for family vacations. They never had enough room and the kids would always fight. I've done some market research, and like, no ship manufacturer seems to be making ships for things like this. Which means even if the demand is low, we can fill this niche and still sell a lot. That's fucking valid. <laughs> like, I, I, I can't like, say no to her, because she's not wrong. Uh, what would it take to design hmm. a ship like that? I haven't thought of all the details, but I'd imagine lots of passenger space would be a top priority. A mid-sized ship with enough room for one or, mm, or maybe even two or three families to spread out and relax. I don't think it'd need any fancy weapons or scientific equipment, so it should be pretty affordable. Families don't want to spend a fortune, so keeping the cost low will help guarantee plenty of sales. You know, it sounds like great fun. Oh, I can't really? really complain about that one. Wow, I am... <laughs> Thank you. I'm really glad I told you about it. Well, if we end up making it, I swear I'll work up a hell of an ad campaign for it. It does sound like we need to make one of each of these ships, to be it's honest. Interesting. <laughs> I'm new, and I've never done anything like this before coming here. M marketing for ships, specifically, that is. There are so many things to think of for different demographics, like style, features, cost, and all that. And you also need to think about offensive and defensive capabilities because space is dangerous and people need to feel like the ship they're buying is safe. You mentioned you were new. What did you do before this? Yeah, I've only been here for a few months. I did a little marketing for chunks before this, but it was really more of an internship. Ah, oh, so you lied on your resume. Totally different than that. I applied for the job here on a whim because I thought it'd be fun. I never expected to be hired. So much fun. Do you like working so here? So far I do. But um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I feel like I'm in a little over my head. It's because you lied on your I resume. I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. But my bosses really seem to like my work, so I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm doing something right. Kind of reminds me of my wife when I first met her. to people who have been at this for so much longer than I have. But it's just that inexperience and just assuming you're not good enough, but it turns out you're actually fucking brilliant and way better than most goddamn people on the planet. And it took her like 10 years to realize that one. But otherwise, you just get this inconfidence with their work. Catch you around. <laughs> Okay, what's your idea, buddy? I'm wondering if we need another chef in the kitchen. Then again, I hear Walter brought you in to finally make a decision around here. Yup. Glad to be a service then. Just so long as you don't push us to make anything too nutty, I think your decisiveness will put us back on the right track. Speaking of which, I think my plan will get us where we need to be as quickly and efficiently as possible. 
is simple, no frills, and most importantly, won't cause me any major headaches on the engineering side. Well, you're really selling it with that unenthusiastic pitch. No, I'm just trying to set realistic goals. Sorry, that ain't exciting to you. Push so the buttons. There's loads of fighters. No sense in mucking about with that again. And we've already got one of the best luxury liners in the biz. What I figure is, the cargo running business is booming, and no one's quite built a personal craft like that to serve the working class folk. Nothing fancy, no frills. Just a simple, sturdy, inexpensive ship with cargo room up the wazoo and make it so easy my cousin's little moppet could fly it. Mm. <laughs> All the proposals we've got, that's certainly one of them. Seems simple enough. Any other design considerations? It should be to build a huge ship with plenty of cargo room while keeping the cost low. Doesn't need fancy equipment, just the basics. Basic weapons, basic defenses, basic scanners. You get the idea. If we go with a design like that, I can focus on quality construction and the ship will practically sell itself. It's valid, but make it more exciting. Yes, of course. Zhuzh it up. Just enough to disappoint me even more when we ultimately end up choosing something ridiculous. Thanks. You're sassy, buddy. <laughs> yep, that's me, innit? Been here since the start of the company. Done engineering for going on 30 years total. But I keep telling them, it's senior, not lead engineer. I've got no interest in being lead. Too much management. Not enough tactile work. <laughs> and yet here I am. Resigned to my fate on the R&D team. You don't be like being involved in the research? No, not really. That was almost a sentence like that came out of my mouth. Ego for it. <laughs> I've got nothing uh, I'm to distracted prove, by really pain. I don't care to make my mark on the industry. But all I want to do is build the best damn starships I can. And not get bogged down with all the excess particulars. There's a lot of talking uh, in this one. Upper management loves the work I do. And they wouldn't let me say no to this. I guess I needed someone to keep everyone's heads out of the clouds. So here I am. It's valid. So what do you think of Strat Echo? You mean the company and not the people. Because even if I didn't already think so, I'd tell you that both Walter and Issa are great. Of course they the are. The company's still kind of young as far as Star Yards go, but it seems to be going in the right direction. Despite what it may look like. I've been doing this for a while at other Star Yards. And so far, we're avoiding a lot of the mistakes some of the older corps have made. Sounds good, thank you. Later, mate. Later, mate, to you too, buddy. What about you, so, Ella? Oh, you're Walter's friend. I know he chose you to head this project as some sort of favor. Sure, go with that. <laughs> as senior technical designer, I was hoping to receive that honor, but um, uh, there's always next time. Regardless, I'm excited to help you out. Do you have any experience building spaceships? Yes. This is wonderful to hear. I hope for all of our sakes that you are not overselling your ability. Ask now, YouTube. I don't I know. I know you've been asked to give feedback on our design proposals. Would you care for a brief synopsis of mine? Sure. Yes, please. How much worship you have in mind? Of course. But first, let me ask you this. What pilot demographic is currently being underserved by the current starship market? Um, Pirates. Personal passenger chauffeurs is probably what she's going to say. Gulf Pirates. No. Even if it were legal to support piracy, I feel as if expecting pirates to pay for anything is a foolish endeavor. Very valid. My idea is a little less conventional. I believe we should invest in making a dedicated exploration ship marketed towards citizen scientists. Sure. What? We and other manufacturers have lines of exploration ships, but... None built with the average consumer in mind. It's my hope that we can jumpstart a new era of affordable, accessible space exploration fueled by ordinary people like you and me. That sounds like a terrible idea. Because, I mean, that, that... You know, you need some expertise for that. And like a lot of people die a year because they decide to go to like Alaska and do some stupid shit that they were nowhere near prepared for because they're dumbass idiots that didn't do any work thinking 
Life is easy, and it's actually not. We are so spoiled by today's modern conveniences that the second you yank all those out from under people, they really underestimate just how fragile life could actually fucking be. Um, not um, a bad concept, but it seems like a very niche product. Hard pass. Seems like a bunch of boring nerd stuff. How would I design I a ship like that? Small ship profile. It won't need much storage or passenger capacity. We need tons of storage then, capacity. Are you kidding me? We want an advanced grab drive to reach deep space and plenty of energy for extended flights. In order to keep costs down, it likely doesn't need expensive weapon systems or defensive measures. It won't need those where it's going. And of course, high-end scanners and other scientific equipment is a must. Clearly, you did not watch Star Trek, my friends. You need the best weapons, the best fences, tons of... It just needs to be an all-around general purpose ship. You could argue that explorer vessels don't need to have weapons, but like they tend to find things. I don't know. I don't know. Usually you bring weapons. Just go with that one. Yeah, that's what Jules said too. It just doesn't but at least that seems like a bad idea. To think about. Thanks. I'll refine the idea and propose. You find so many else. of those crash landed and lost and abandoned. What does well, your job entail here? As a senior designer, I'm trusted to work on some pretty important features on these ships. Most of my work is on the technical features, designing them to be more user friendly. Computer systems like navigation, targeting, you name it. It may not be as glamorous as what Frank does, but without me, these ships would be almost impossible for the average consumer to actually use. What do you think of the company? Why do I feel like answering this could be a trap coming from someone who was sent here by Walter to step in and take over our project? It might be, don't you know? Uh, it's not like I have anything to hide. I used to think working for a super wealthy corporation would be terrible, but honestly, it's pretty great. They've been good to me, <laughs> and the stability is way better than any stuff. Yeah, money, money's good. I've had opportunities I wouldn't have anywhere else, so yeah. Pretty great. Good answer. See you around. But you yes. called out that it was bullshit. What? You guess what? Huh? 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 Just kidding. Okay. I'm actually kind of amazed we finalized the budget. That was relatively painless. Sure, Project Lead. Lots of work to do, but we'll get through it. Guess Don't worry. I need to talk to her. Well, we're making. I can give you oh, feedback. Yes, I actually do have a proposal. I wasn't really expecting you to give me feedback, but why not? I guess. I'd like to see us branch out a bit more in the Starfighter market. Bounty hunting and mercenary work are both big these days, especially among the hard-blooded free stars. I like it. Maybe you should work on the pitch. There's a lot in demand. You brought that up. No. And yes, there's a lot of work out there that requires a capable fighting ship. But the real success comes from UC military contracts which we would hope to attract by building a higher end version of this ship platform for them. Uh, so how would we go about designing a starship fighter like that? Strong weapons, of course. Tough defenses, plus good speed and maneuverability. Most starfighters are fairly small, and the tricky part is keeping costs down with all those fancy modules. Mm. Maybe we should work on your pitch. You could be right. There's got to be a better way to pitch the idea. I'll give it some more thought. Yeah, I told everyone their ideas are great. Let's see how this goes. Ah, we'll talk later then. Complete a passenger mission, complete a bounty mission. Why would I do passenger mission? I don't know. My ship is not what I would call the greatest for that. My brain just broke. Missions. I mean, I just kind of want to do what I know, and that's a bounty mission. Three workers. I mean, I could do that in my ship. Bounty Hunter mission? Let us fly! Instead of ride, get it? 
<laughs> it's funny. So hilarious. Can we just please? It sounded like there was a vehicle outside, but it must have just been some ambient noise from this. I wish to speak to you. Yeah, we did that last. What's up, buddy? I was like going for it. Optional, complete a passenger mission. Missions. Letting course. Full speed. Two power to spare and grab drive as we just make everyone dizzy by taking my hand off the mouse while we are Full turn. That would be full. Oh, what? Full vert? Theoretically, on a plane, it would be like climb, but we're loop de looping. I don't know what that would be considered. Hey, bounty hunters. What's this going for you? No, buddy. Fuck y'all. So nice. Yeah, like I needed you. They were all dead before you even landed. Thank you. Sorry that they would think I need their help. Please get out of here. Landing gear's ready. Exit seed ship. I would like a chance to talk to you, if you are able. Ah, in due time. Uh, where are we headed? Mission objective. Oh, we literally all had to do is touch down. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have to do something. Coming into dock, full speed, full burn, full power to engines, full afterburner. Imagine being on the station. I'm like, oh my god, looking out the window, seeing a giant ship. I'm in full bore. Catastrophic. I trust they have to have in every single spaceship captain for these to just be like family things. It's like the amount of damage such a basic attack could do is if you, you are could free soon kill everyone on board done. literally mass destruction These ships are nice. even with a tiny spaceship flying into a space station we've got people pouring over the data you collected as we speak okay oh it wasn't tracked we're all super glad you're here right everyone Versatility may oh, not yeah. be what certain customers are looking for. So you managed to complete a couple different missions. This will give us lots of data to support building a ship that can tackle a variety of scenarios. Of course, if we build a ship like that, we may need the kitchen sink budget, but we'll see. Thanks for your help. Now we just need to solve our interpersonal issues so we can agree on a design. Easy, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'll make sure get everyone working together you seem awfully confident for someone who doesn't know how long we've been dealing with this doesn't fucking matter I've tried everything i can think of besides some sort of hokey team building exercise so what do you think you can do differently uh the only fair thing to do is make everyone give up one compromise let's try team building maybe group meditation to calm everyone so they can work with each other you know what why not I'll try anything at this Sounds point. Sounds so Stranger miserable. Things have happened. And since you mentioned the idea, I like meditation. I you should be the one to lead us in the guided meditation. But doing Just it as a feed group. Just us a steady stream of whatever positive affirmations you've got. I don't know if it will solve the design conflicts, but maybe it'll get everyone working with each other again. And I'll take what I can get. 
Even if it leads to a more ridiculous design. So, you're sure about this? Yes, let's try team building meditation. Okay. <laughs> Sounds this terrible. Be interesting since I, I gotta give a shot. any of us know what we're doing with this. Okay, everyone, listen up. Our new friend offered to lead us in a group meditation session as a sort of team There's building a guy like me just there. Everyone we're gonna group meditate? Breath, like, look at this. Try to relax and we'll get started momentarily. Strapped to the teeth and armor, thief gear, or handcuffs. What he says and repeat his affirmations. Uh, by working as a team, we may conquer any challenge. We are stronger and better together. Uh, teamwork is pretty good, I guess. This is like real life right here. I hate teamwork. I don't hate teamwork. I love teamwork. It's one of my favorite shit in the world. Like finding people I work well with is so difficult. Um, not even true. I don't know. Just all my gaming friends and I. We're all very good players, but we do our own things and we just make it work. And the few times we've ever come together to do very hard, challenging stuff. We we do, we make it work and it's very fun, but like we rely a lot on our individual strengths. Oh, uh, my working as a team, we can conquer any challenge. Oh my gosh, this is a nightmare because fuel. Because Mr. Stroud is requiring us to listen to your friend, and I have every intention of doing just that, because I like my job and I don't want to get fired. Ho ho ho! My brilliance and creativity will help us guide to our goal. My brilliance and creativity will help us guide us to our goal. Hey, in rhythm, my friend. <laughs> Look everyone, this is just stupid. Finish the damn project, okay? Uh I'll keep this up. Trust in my teammates and they can trust me. Um I believe myself my ability. I wonder how long you can keep this up. My ability to do my job well. Can we do in pace here? Um, uh, it's fucked stupid. Okay. 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 I think that's enough of that. Thank you for leading us. I hope that was somewhat. Why don't you reading? Yeah, it was kind of. It was fine. I'm good to go over here. You know what? I'll do whatever Cathargic. anyone wants. Lethargic. So Cathargic. Cathargic even a word. Like that again. Lethargic. Okay, everyone. I think that's it. Let's get back to work. Mm -hmm. Back to work is. What do you... I wish to speak what are you reading? You. Yes? You need something? No, I just want to see what she's reading. I don't have any guns with scopes. Can't make it out. Oh well. So I get for not having a scope here. We're all super glad. Now that we've unblocked right? ourselves, tell me about well, the ship we we're making. Based on the decisions you made, well, I'm not quite sure what kind of ship we're going to end up with, but it should be capable in a variety of situations. It sure will have a lot of stuff to it. Hey everyone, it sounds like we're making my ship where it can carry passengers, tons of cargo. Uh, you get it like it's just a bunch of stuff. Really good in combat, high HP, high mobility, high speed. Shh. Now that we've addressed all our issues, we can move forward, finalize the design, and get this into production pretty quickly. If you could do us a favor and let Walter know that we're back on track, I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Anytime I can come in here and do just about fuck all nothing, then I'm down for it. Customer first policy. I keep fielding questions about some of the new processes, and I understand that change is frightening, but the idea is to remove all the pain points with buying a ship. Yes, we will open ourselves up to higher rates of fraud and contract defaults, but that is okay. If you go to any other shipyards it takes hours for our major clients to walk away with a signed contract sometimes it takes days it's painful it's antagonistic antagonistic yep i am not a good reader and language hard and it is outdated 
antagonistic. I think that's the word. Every aspect of Stroud Eklund Shipyards has to be the customer first. If we live and breathe by that code and the losses we occur, will be made up with word of mouth business and happy, loyal customers. So they're not necessarily wrong on that one. I've been a loyal EVGA fan for my whole life because customer service and just they're amazing, even if I pay a little bit extra. And I'm super sad that they are no longer making graphics cards because of NVIDIA's bullshit. Uh, if the answer is no, then go back to the drawing board. We are reinventing the business of shipyards, and I'm proud to be on this journey with all of you. Okay, it's a pretty fun little tablet. I just decided to read for no particular reason. This is the first time I've read a whole tablet. We're gonna scan me again. It is good to be. You are entering yep. United Colony space. I do have a lot of Alyssa cargo on me, so let's do it. You can't get me. No, can't. So I thought I'm gonna catch this number one smuggler. It's not even true. I have no smuggling skills. Please don't detect me. It's freaking miserable when you do. So much inventory management because how much stolen stuff is on my ship. I actually have an EVGA X17 mouse on my that I'm using. I currently have an EGA graphics card, EVGA power supply. I don't think I have an EVGA motherboard. I think I have the Gigabyte motherboards. Just because I've always gone with them. Have that any issues? Amuses me to think about what can we speak for a moment? Yeah, we can later. I'm glad you just threw out like every voice line you have. And hey, Walter, wake the fuck up! Damn, he is a heavy sleeper. So sleeping pills? Yeah, it's the pill bottles. Goodbye, wake up. Just ignore now, the bullet holes all over your room. Surprise. Tell me, what brought you back? Oh, uh, the unity said I'd have to give up one possession. That's a lot of credits. <laughs> um, I'll leave eventually. Well, I hope for our sakes that time is a long way off. You belong here, you know. Now, I know the unity was our goal all along in this endeavor, but... Well, it's still there, isn't it? No need to rush. Welcome well. back. At this point, I don't care what you have. Good to hear. Got your project back on track. See, I just finished looking over the final design they sent over before you arrived. I've got to say, it's certainly interesting. They managed to cram just about everything they could into it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think it ever occurred to me to do something like that. I'll be honest with you. This is the most expensive ship we've ever made. But I'm confident we can set a price point to make it work. Now I'd be happy to make it my new personal ship. Additionally, I want you to have one of the first off the assembly line. For all of your hard work. Feel free to pick it up at the star yard. Thanks again. Okay. So I have another spaceship. Just gonna pretend like I don't already have a ton of them. How do I pick it up? Just collect your new starship. Let's go! Let's go see this. I don't even want to know what monstrosity I made. That's cool. A bounty hunting transport ship. I have wibble wobble all over the place. Docking. Uh, just had to completely enjoy that docking animation there. It's so bad. So cringe. Yeah. If you are free soon. Ah, I know he likes to talk. Well, he can go talk to someone else back there. It's all good. My business um, is where am I picking up this ship? I don't even know. Just collect my new ship. I 
just want to collect their new ship. Heaven is having a smooth running ship with a crew of friends. It tells me to get in this ship. Is there somewhere else that wants me to go here? Just collect my new ship. Operation complete. Thrust is free. Oh, hey, there it is. That is the same monstrosity we made. Um, it's kind of ugly. But you know what? It's what we made, it is what it is. Ugh. Well, if you ever see these things flying around, it's my fault. Right? So, we board the new ship I designed by immediately falling down a ladder, because vertical ladders are fucking amazing. Uh, we've got nice little viewports in this tiny, pointless freaking room. Oh, uh, we drop down one level. Another absolutely tiny, pointless freaking room. Drop down another level, and we have another get shit on ladder. Like, we have ourselves... This is, is this a captain's quarters? I believe this is a captain's quarters. Captain's quarters into bridge. So bridge captain quarters. Got it. Uh, what'd you pack the ship for me with? Where's the consoles in this one? Oh yeah, they're over here. Captain's locker is nothing. Okay, I presume the cargo holds nothing as well. We go down one layer. We've got mess hall. Mess hall. Oh, it's the fancy mess hall too. It's not even the one with the drawings on it. Um, obviously it's a shroud echoing one. No other ladder there. Ladder over here, just like in my guides. I'm down into infirmary. Just arguably the second best infirmary too. Into control center. Well, at least they have the navigation table in a usable spot. Drop down. Inaccessible door. Now we have a maze to get back to the cockpit. I totally remember how to, to get back to cockpit. It's at the infirmary. Up. Mess hall. Okay, in the captain's quarters, through into cockpit, into ship. Let's see the stats of this baby here. What did you name her? She's a class B Kepler R. Oof. I mean, she's not the worst weapons in the world. 11 max power is pretty. Oh, that's grab drive. I just have an overview. C-class reactor, so it's a C-class ship. Six crew. And the jump range is good. Cargo's not too bad at 5,000. Look at that rear picture, man. That is ugly as... Whew. That's bad. That's real bad. I had to get up there for a second, but we left off talking about this ship and just... Mm, how fugly it is. Um, I do like... This little bit here with the cockpit and these two Stroud flarings. Actually, I think that flows really nice. That might actually make its way into one of my ship designs, I think. That's really sleek looking. I don't know how I'd follow up the bottom half of it, but I like this profile right here. I even don't mind the humpback part of that. I do love these huge thrusters. I've just not found a way to make them fit in this ship. And holy crap. What is the fuel capacity on this thing? Does it say? No, but I bet it is a lot of freaking... Yeah, there's 2,800 fuel on this. It's just one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven of these huge tanks. Holy crap. What's up with the void right there? Oh, there's also another tank up front. 
Oh, there's still seven. Okay, that's just... That is a ton of fuel tanks. I mean, mass... That's top speed. Shh. It doesn't say it's speed and maneuverability in the screen. I've always hated that. Cool. Wow, oh, I hit all the wrong buttons there. Son of a... Back to the Kepler R. It's gonna take it, land it at my place, put it in my damn fleet. Uh, it was one down. No, it was two down. Two down. Through the cabin scorchers. Two the cockpits. I guess technically you don't have to undock and land. I could just do it from inside of it, I believe. I'm um, just so many missions I farm to level up skills and stuff where my default open map is always L. Um, even though that just brings up quests. Home base. Ship is docked. Unable to travel. Apparently I lied. Undock. Hey, it's a view of my ship. Take that thing home. Keep it safe, everybody. Did it again. I will open the map. Double back out. Take this thing home. Put it in my ship fleet. Like that's got to be nearing nine or ten ships. freighters why didn't it land me on the planet question mark on base land what you doing game you can yield to guards if you holster up in immediately after starting a fight with them oh that's good to know i mean i think i've read that before and i always forget about that now if i think i've complained about wishing i could surrender and you can it's such an aggressive looking posture on that ship Check this baby out. Those are some bright reflections. What the f fuck is going on with this ship? Are you blinding? Are you bright? So what does that put us at here? All ten ship slots are filled. Oof. Eesh. I like having my memory ships though. Technically, I'm not supposed to have this one. This just kind of happened. I guess I have two of these now. Because I just kind of kept my game and didn't reload before I made my build guide video, and we're not going to undo that now. <laughs> Actually, the amount of five ships is not what I wanted to do. I want to buy ships. It's a cool little not symmetrical design. What do they use to attach? Oh, they used um, hallways or companion ways. Forget those are a thing. Yeah, I guess I see how people could use these in my ship design and turn the wings into more crew capacity. Interesting. Never thought of those. My ship designs. You get a little creative with those. Interesting. You are. You're an ugly duckling. Jemule. Storm Raider. I don't hate the design of that. I wish they had a more rounded one of these that was actually a loading bay because that looks horrific on that side. Cockpit being at the back is really weird. And what is this? Is that a shield? 
It only has 830 shields, so it could be a really shitty shield module, but I like the bubble. It's too bad you can't use it as a cosmetic item. It would be really, really cool if you could. Basic weapon tree. I just like that they tucked the uh, cargo containers in the middle like this to kind of shield them. It would make loading and unloading an absolute nightmare, but like... Interesting little protect your cargo kind of design right there. By the way, we came here to sell a ship. I just get distracted. Oh, my value is only fifty, fifty-four thousand dollars. Painful. So I know you cost two hundred seventy to make. The return on that is not great. So we've got that one. I've got my Star Eagle. I'm not going to talk about that one because it shouldn't exist, but somehow I have one. Um, that's not like an exploit or anything. Like I just walked up to one and it let me go in it, so I took it. Scar, I've got my prison shuttle, another class A. I wish I didn't modify my frontier, and I wish I knew how I modified it. I think all I did to my frontier was add you, you, and you. Like I think that's the default frontier. I could be wrong. But I think that's default frontier. I probably shouldn't be running things this shit all over my face. One second. So I applied ketamine lotion to my shingles. And uh, then I was still... I mean, I wiped my hands off my pants because I don't have a sink out here in the garage. But I just dumped some water on a paper towel and washed my hands. And I was rubbing my face and it felt weird. Oh, so yeah, that's the thing we just did. I don't get shingles all over my face. Either way, that's Frontier, that's that done, that's this, this thing, things and that, and all the things. Those are powers, not quests. So I love how, like, we have activities. I have so many. Uh, visit the Apollo landmark on Luna? Let's do that. I cannot fast travel at this time. Ooh, okay. Uh, got a few minutes, so I don't really want to start anything crazy. So I'm just gonna go visit the landmark, do some exploration, enjoy the game soon. Freaky out handsy while we wait for black loading screen. Any, anything? We got, we got nothing going on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We're getting, we're getting there. Oh yeah, look at us, we're through. I have had this for a very long time. The iron family of inorganic resources includes alkaline, titanium, and uritrium, hetium. I hear you, and you've got to be a guardian ship, right? I do. And you are going to land very, I report, very, very far away. You know what? I think you're actually my first class C starship that I stole. Hollow snow globe. So cool. Just the flag here. Yeah, <laughs> we can boop the flag. Do do. To see this in real life, though. A little tattered. Just kind of like disintegrating along the pole. It's a lot of detail they threw into that flag. I have things I wish to discuss with you. Yeah, you always have things you wish to discuss with me. Cool. Down for historic sites. I see you out there. It's tempting to go run out there, but like we don't need to just take another ship to take another ship from poor settlers. Oh, there's actually more stuff here. Is this like a little probe, or is this a buried, like, module of some sort? A solar panel thing sticking out the ground here? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh, I think they'd put, like, a dome over this, build a little museum here or some shit, but nope. It's just... 
just there. Nova Galactic Research Station explored. We did that. Did that. Okay. Well, anything else we can go explore real quick? If I can hit any of the right buttons. Activities. Speak to the commander. Uh, joining the vanguard. Cover Equinox from abandoned Mirror Bridge Pharmaceuticals. What was this? Wait, what? Why is there an abandoned facility on that? It's because I didn't think I selected the right planet, and I didn't, so I'm glad I double checked myself. Gria. Cover the Equinox. Isn't the Equinox just like a basic weapon? Which can fuzzle. I mean, I guess I've had this since the very beginning, right? Exit ship. got going on here? What kind of low levels am I looking at for hostiles? Oh, you opened up with a bang, you piece of crap. Touche. Gotcha, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Do I care about any of the stuff you have on you? Not really, but I'm a loot horse, so we're gonna take it anyway. Dropped him. Nice hot. Yeah, well, someone's got something exploding on the inside of there. This is the place with the freaking... Yeah, it is. In the back area over there. Let's go through here and clear out these guys, though. I hear them shooting at me. high enough level that I super have to care, but your weapon is very explodey. You don't miss either if I jump. I get close enough. Oh, uh, this is the locker full of oxygen tanks, right? Yes, it is. There should be one more there. Why I loot those every single time I come in here? Couldn't fucking tell you. They do have decent value for their mass, but like their value is meaningless. Meaningless, like insignificant to me now. The amount of money we have and the amount of money we can earn through outposts and just selling shit. Yet, I still cannot help myself but to loot a habit we are trying to wean ourselves of, but we're not quite there yet. Uh, I know there's stuff in that building, I just don't super care. I've done this facility so many times. Got him. Yeah, I hear you up there, buddy. I can spray and pray too. What you doing here, little guy? Just big can't open doors. There, I'll open it for you. Um, dollar late, but you know what? It's the thought that counts. That's what people say, right? Open the door. Doors open. Usually an advanced something there. I could swear there's clothes in these, and I just have a thing for clothes in video games. Clothes and books. You've looted this place so many times, Dig. You're not going to get anything new. But you keep hoping for more points of interest. It's always a locked one that I don't bother with anymore. Going down. I see your laser shining through the top there. Pistol. 
recover a thing. You never had to actually recover anything I down here. Like a chance to talk to you. Yes, you, you keep saying able. that. Yeah, we'll get there. Should be two guys. Dim -dim. Best not to leave anything useful behind. You know, you say that until I loot too much, and then you get all grumpy that I'm carrying too much stuff. No, we can't actually. We're busy. We're currently actively busy. Sure, we'll head this way. Uh, I'm trying to remember... I knew there was stuff here. I know there's a boss crate in here somewhere. Very heat leech. One punch razor bag. Legendary pistol. I wouldn't mind a one punch version of the gun I have. That would be interesting to see how that turns out. It makes this shotgun already more shotgunny. It says pick up the Equinox though. Is that what I just picked out of this box? No. Oh, that was a one punch razor back. The only caliber. If that was an advance, that would be insane. It already is insane. I'm gonna fiddle with that weapon. It's a shotgun, one of these guns. That is pretty crazy. So was I, I'm making things up again, but the Equinox is the gun, right? Staggering Equinox, yeah. Why does it have this blank space there? Huh. Interesting. Valley, valley, interesting. Search for Antony. Search for liquid, ionic liquids in caves. Speak with Trevor. Cool. Well, got more activities to do. We're out of time for this episode. I do appreciate you stopping by. I really enjoy making these. Uh, I like want to kind of apologize for the low energy, but like I'm dealing with some health shit right now that I'm really hoping goes away because being fully healthy for 36 years and then just bam, just all the shit piling on top of each other like that with a newborn really sucks. And it's like, rant a little, I haven't been able to touch my newborn in three days because of shingles and like, who knows how much longer I'm not going to be able to touch my newborn. I really can't help my wife out with her. And it's rough. It's real rough. So... I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Take the... Bye, everyone.